This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey, what's up guys? Josh Inobakure right here. I wanted to tell you guys about this new cool thing that's been included in the latest edition of Adobe Premiere 2015 in the Creative Cloud. It's this thing called Effect Masks. Effect Masks basically allows you to choose the specific portion of your clip that your effect is going to affect. Basically, what you can do is you can go into the effects bin, you can drag any effect that you want, put it on your clip, and then use the effect mask to determine the exact portion of your clip that you want your effect to affect. What it's doing is replacing the need for 4 point, 8 point, or 16 point garbage mats because it's all included within the effect. And guess what? Feathering is included and a lot more stuff. We're gonna check that stuff out right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you three examples where this effect mask could be used. The first example is if you'd want to brighten a specific area on your image. Say you're the person that was lighting up your main subject didn't really light the person that well and the person was didn't really pop out from the background. Basically the background and the subject was lit with the same intensity so you want to brighten up your subject so it's brighter than the background. Easy, this is what you do. You go to effect, you go down to RGB curves and then you take RGB curves and you plop it on your clip. In this case we're gonna have a footage, we have footage of a girl standing against the fence. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the um, highlights in the image. But as you can see, when you bring up the highlights in the image, it brings up the hi highlights throughout the entire image. But we don't want to do that. We want to only bring up the highlights on the person so that only she pops out and everything else stays the exact same intensity as far as the, the, uh, the brightness goes. So what are we going to do? We're going to go and we're going to draw a mask around that person. And then check it out. The effect that we just placed on the clip, the brightening effect that we did when we raised the highlights up is now only implied is now only applied to the area within our mask. Now it looks kind of harsh, right? It's kind of sharp around the edges, but guess what? We can feather it. Check this out. Watch me feather it. And voila, there you go. It's beautiful, isn't it? We're now going to look at the image before, and now we're going to look at the image after. Pretty cool, right? Now we're going to check out the second example. In the second example, we are going to blur just a certain part of uh, this image of us going underneath a bunch of palm trees just because it looks cool. So we have our original image looks like this. Now we're going to go over to effects and we're going to go to blurs and we're going to go to directional blur and we're going to put directional blur onto that clip. Then again we're going to go to our masking tool and we're going to mask out the little triangle shape that we want the actual blur to affect in the image. And then again, we are going to feather the edges and voila. Now take a look how this image looked before and now look how it looks now. And now we're going to look at the third example in which we can use this amazing effects mask option. We're going to create a vignette. We're going to go and we're going to create a solid by going into our projects bin and right clicking new item and then picking color mat. We're then going to make the color mat black and then we're going to drag it into our time timeline. What we've essentially created is a solid black clip. Then we're going to go to effects and then we're going to go to transform and we're going to go 
and take the crop effect and place it onto our black solid clip. Then instead of drawing out a mask, we're going to use the oval mask option and we're going to expand an oval mask over the black clip. And then we're going to go um, back into our crop effect and we're going to crop from the bottom all the way up to the top. As you can see, the crop effect is only working within the mask that we created. Pretty amazing. And then lastly, we're gonna feather our mask and look what we've created. We've created a perfect subtle vignette. I also want to show you that you have the option of keyframing your mask. Say the thing that you're trying to mask is moving over the course of time. What you can do is you can choose the specific area that you want to mask over the course of time through keyframing. If you've seen past tutorials, keyframing is basically keyframing an effect over the course of time. So check this out. What you do is you draw your um, mask. In this case, we're going back to um, the type of effect where we want to brighten up only a certain part of the image. So we're going to go to RGB curves and we're going to um, put RGB curves on the clip and we're going to draw out the mask around the person. And then as the camera moves and as she moves within the frame, we're going to click on um, the keyframe option. And as you can see, I'm going to add keyframes and continue to adjust the mask as the person moves over the course of time. And now as I play through my clip, my mask is going to move and only the proportion that she is in for that moment is going to be bright. And as she moves, the mask is going to move with her. Now lastly, this is a pretty amazing um, option that has now been included in effect masking. And it's the option to actually track a subject automatically. This is something that is a powerful tool that you would usually only see in After Effects, but check this out. What you can do is you can again draw a mask over the, um, in this case we're going to brighten up a person again. We're going to draw a mask over that person that we want to mask and brighten up and then we're simply going to press the play forward button or the play back button and we will then watch this mask automatically track the subject that it is that it has been drawn over over the course of time first we're going to track backward then we're going to track forward Now we're going to play through the entire thing. Check it out. Amazing. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Remember to use the effect mask whenever you see fit. It's a powerful tool that everyone should take advantage of in this new 2015 version of Adobe Premiere in the Creative Cloud. Thanks for watching.